uh, before the crash, Iceland decided to take the uh, uh, to take the road to uh, private privatizations, uh, take the capitalism road, and uh, uh, we did privatize uh, uh, many of our uh, companies who were formerly in the ownership of, of, of the uh, uh, ownership of the people or uh, what we say the government, and. Uh, I think the, the thing who failed in this process was that, that okay, we got the liberty, but not uh, the responsibility. We said yes to liberty, but we forgot to take the responsibility with it. So everyone, earned, everyone uh, many of us, earned a lot of money or, on a short period of time, uh, but it was mostly soap money, and uh, when it came to the crash, People ran away with their money and didn't pay, and then they said, no, the people, Icelandic people have to pay as a whole. And that's why, that's why we had a new government, and then the new government gave the offer to the people to, to build their own constitution. Instead of having it in a small assembly in the, in the parliament, the people should do the work. And we, of course, said, yes, thank you. We have waited for so long for this opportunity. Once. But, uh, the year before the crash, uh, 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 our government, uh, they didn't say, tell the truth to the people. So everyone, uh, most people here, they thought it was, everything's going very fine. And uh, the government did this in spite of the new, they knew there was something wrong. But they uh, decided to keep it as a secret. And then when the, the blow exploded, it exploded really, really hard and just right to face the people. And that's why I think people were so angry. It didn't get any adoption to this, it just blew in the face of us. The biggest cause of this is ourselves as our voters. We are voting wrong. Mm, uh, uh, but the other cause is that, okay, you may vote every four years. Uh, and uh, that's, of course, of course very good, a good thing. But in between, you don't have nothing to do with matters. You just meet every four years and tell what you want to, who, to rule, who, who you want to rule. But in between you have nothing, just be home and keep quiet. Uh, and uh, it's, it's okay if politicians are telling the truth, if they say, they say the same things before the elections and after the elections, it's okay. But when they say A before the elections and B after the elections, then you have to have some tools to say, hey, you are lying. I have, to have something to kick you away, to do something. You have to uh, stop the car if it drives too fast. And that's the, that's the things the new solar constitution are, are bring. They bring you some tools, like direct democracy and personal voting. Really? Uh, our main uh, power resource in Iceland is our na natural resources. Uh, for the time being, uh, our biggest gold mine is the fisheries. And uh, there has been some system around our fisheries for 25 years now. And it's giving a, a very little group, a couple of families, uh, and they have uh, some privilege to fish. And if I want to fish, I have to rent a license from them. And they decide the price. And that, that's, I think, uh, that's the main reason for an uh, imbalance in Iceland. There are a few families who are uh, just sitting on these fishing resources, and now they want the other resources too, as the nature, and the power, and the earth, and so on. And these uh, these uh, families, these few peoples in fact, they own Iceland today. They 
own most of the companies, they own most of the na nature on the land, they own the, the medias, and they own the power. Uh, the owner of the big fish companies here, the owners, they have mobile phones. And uh, in these mobile phones, they have directly the numbers to the senators. And they just ring to them if they want to change something or not change anything. Then they just ring. And these senators, they are in the, in the parliament because of these guys. They pay their, their uh, campaign. And if not for this uh, owner of the fisheries, uh, there would be quite different uh, people in the parliament. They, in fact, it's their decision that they pay this, this guy and this guy because they have them in their pockets. If there's someone who wants to say something and uh, are not agree with their policy, then they do everything that he cannot be a senator. Uh, they uh, don't pay their campaigns uh, and they do anything so they won't have uh, uh, some space in their meetings. So they are just blocked off as they can. They have a very, very high power, these guys. After a crash, uh, the government uh, gave the people an offer. And this offer was everyone in the country, each individual uh, uh, could be uh, with us in a process to choose 25 to build us a new uh, constitution. And there was no restraints. Everyone could be with, in this package. So I just had uh, very much interest to do something for my country and, and uh, volunteered. And then uh, finally I got vote. Uh, I, think, uh, I think this is uh, one of the best things I have done in my life. I think so. And I'm uh, proud of our work. And it's, uh, uh, I think it's uh, good to say that uh, when we were, had the ball, when we had the ball, uh, and uh, it was our, uh, our aim to make a new consti constitution, when we had the ball, it, yes, it got really fast. Uh, but when we gave the ball to the parliament, everything got stuck. So I think when the people have the ball, we can do changes, but when the government got the ball, they do everything to take it very uh, slowly. I think in the, the these days of the crash, uh, uh, the people gathered uh, uh, every night, thousands of people in front of the parliament. Uh, I think that's the biggest cause. Uh, of the, uh, that the former government did resign. They, they didn't have peace to work. So, yes, they, yes, they uh, got away. Uh, but now after the crash, uh, yes, we have tried to bring some of these people to justice, both politicians and, so, and also the bankers. But uh, this is something we have never been in before. So. We don't have, uh, I think, we don't have sufficient laws to to judge them. So I think many of these people will escape uh, rather cheap from this. But in at my opinion, that's in fact not the main issue here. The main issue here is the future and to uh, yes to provide uh, uh, to prevent that this will happen again. A new constitution is the best one. Really? Uh, the new constitution has four main things who are very different from uh, the current one. Uh, firstly, uh, it, uh, it has an article about direct democracy, uh, which means a uh, uh, percentage of the nation, uh, maybe 10%, uh, can gather around some matters and they can uh, hand it to a referendum. This we have not today. So uh, 
this is one of the main things and the uh, number two is the personal voting. Now we nearly only can uh, vote parties. But in the new constitution you can also uh, vote for people in or outside parties, individuals. So if an individual is doing good, you can vote him again. If he's bad, you can kick him out. You can't do this now. Uh, uh, and thirdly, maybe the most important thing, it's uh, we have an uh, article about our resources. We have to do something about it now. It's urgent. If we don't do it now, we can see the, uh, yeah, the richest people in Iceland will buy it all. And it will be just after a few years. So I think it's very urgent to do something about this. And uh, maybe the, uh, the fourth thing is uh, uh, it's, uh, it's more uh, uh, it's more uh, obvious how how the government how the polit political works it's it's not under the carpet everything is on the table if i should describe how things are now, uh, the new government uh, is kept under a carpet. We have now uh, again a, a little uh, constitutional uh, assembly. It's composed of only a couple of people and they are, are getting over it and uh, maybe they are going to change, maybe not. But uh, this is not the offer we got a couple of years ago. It's upside down. So uh, uh, for the time being, we are on the same spot as maybe we have always been, doing nothing. But I'm optimist anyway because, uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, it's a thinner, the layer is much thinner here than in other countries because we are so few. So uh, I think uh, maybe after the next elections, uh, I think the new, constitu new constitution will rise again. I think so. Really? Uh, everyone thinks that the uh, right guys are the bad people here. Uh, I don't think so. I think uh, the left guys is uh, worse because uh, the right guys, they have always said that uh, changes of constitutions is not one of their main issues. They just like it as it is. They rule. Why, why change it? So when we got uh, a pure uh, left government, then they had four years to change things. And uh, one of the things was this offer to the people to get a new constitution. And uh, when it, they got it, they set it to the referendum and the people said, yes, fine, this is something we want to uh, take in place. Uh, but they didn't do anything. It was a very simple thing to just take it into the parliament and they had uh, uh, 30, I think 35 of 63. So they could just up with their hands, yes, let's say yes, but they didn't do it. So now we have another go government and they are just having the constitution just as they want in the, under the carpet. So I think the bad guys here is in fact the, the left wing, not the right wing. The situation now is uh, it's like this. Uh, I think many people are disappointed. People, are, But I think people are too impatient to change the constitution. This is not just to get a hamburger. This is a marathon run. So uh, we got one bubble blowing in our face. I think we are seeing the next bubble uh, blowing in our face after maybe two or three years. And maybe we have to get two or three bubbles more to get a new constitution. It will take maybe five or ten years. But I think that in Iceland uh, we are much near these things that, for example, in the countries in South, uh, South uh, Europe, because we are so few. So I think uh, 
you should just be glad. It, this will happen. Maybe after five years, maybe after ten years. But I, after 15 years, we have a new constitution. That's, I'm nearly sure about that. Really? Uh, I will uh, only thank uh, uh, people from abroad for their big and huge interest in this matter. Because, uh, in fact, this is, this is about human rights. And uh, I hope I hope uh, uh, yeah, people around the world will keep on following what we are doing here because I think this is a progress who will, uh, yeah, I think it will be over all the world soon because uh, if we are going to, yeah, to keep on going forward with our democratic countries, we have to move some of the power from the governments to the people. Really?